Good morning. This is the third lecture on similarity analysis. The contents of the lecture are similarity rule for compressible flow, isentropic efficiency, then I'll discuss on characteristics map of multi-stage compression, characteristics map of multi-stage turbine, then I'll discuss on specific speed for compressible flow. Let us consider the compressible flow, that is turbo machines handling compressible flow. Here the performance parameter, which are del H0S, that is isentropic enthalpy rise or drop, efficiency and the power eta and p of a turbo machines handling compressible flow can be expressed functionally as del e zero s eta and p is a function of mu omega d m dot rho zero one a zero one and gamma when mu is the viscosity, omega is the rotational speed in radian per second, d is the diameter of the impeller, m dot mass flow rate through the machine, rho zero one is the stagnation density at the entry of the machine. Similarly, A01 is the stagnation speed of sound at the entry of the machines. And gamma is equal to Cp by Cv. Del A0s is the stagnation change of enthalpy across the machine. For a compression, it would be stagnation enthalpy rise. For a turbine, it will be stagnation enthalpy drop. Now, if we carry out the dimensional analysis, so now this enthalpy eta and p can be expressed as some non dimensional group such as del a zero s divided by omega square by d square which represents the xi eta and the power coefficient which is equal to p divided by rho zero once omega cube and d to the power five can be expressed as a function of m dot divided by rho zero omega d to the power q that is non-dimensional mass flow rate through the machines now rho zero one omega d squared by mu this is some sorts of reynolds number and omega d by a zero one is the blade Mach number and gamma is the ratio of CP by CV. Now look, omega in multiplied by D represents the blade speed. So omega D by A01 will represent the blade Mach number. Similarly, Omega D is the blade speed proportional to blade speed U. So rho 0 1 U D by mu 
is is the form of Reynolds number. So the first term here that is non-national mass flow rate is called the capacity of the machines. So non-national enthalpy rise, which is xi, efficiency, and the power coefficient for a compressible machine is a function of capacity, Reynolds number, black Mach number, and gamma. Gamma is the ratio of Cp by Cv. Now, what is the functional relationship that I have established earlier? I would like to simplify further. With respect to that, I'll write the expression of isotopic enthalpy rise or drop across the machine can be given by del A0 S is equal to Cp into T0 2S minus T0 1. Where T0 2S is the stagnation temperature at the exit of the turbo machines. Now the ratio of T0 2S by T0 1 can be expressed as ratio of P0 2 by P0 1. So T0 2S by T0 1 to the bar equivalent to 2 P0 2 by P0 1 to the bar gamma minus 1 by gamma. Further, if we consider the ideal gas relation, then Cp is equal to gamma r by gamma minus 1 and E01 squared is equal to gamma r into T01. Thus, combine these two relation, I can express as A01 square is equal to gamma minus 1 into Cp into T01. Thus, we can express the ratio of A0s and A01 square as, so A0s divided by A01 square equal to del A0s divided by gamma minus 1 into Cp into T01. Put here, from here, the value of A01. Now, combine this relation and the expression of del A0s given here. If you combine these two, you can express as del A0s by A01 square is, is nothing but the function of P02 by P01 and gamma. Please follow this expression. And then here I can conclude that del A0s by a01 square is a function of P02 by P01 and gamma. We have already indicated that del A0s divided by A01 square can be expressed as a function of P02 by P01, which is the pressure ratio of the machines. Again, omega d divided by A01 can be expressed as m, where m being the blade mark number as omega d proportional to the blade speed. Thus, from this relation of blade mark number, I can say omega d proportional to A01 and hence del A0s by omega square d square, which is stagnation enthalpy rise coefficient can be represented as xi is proportional to del A0s by A01 square and thus is also a function of P02 by P01. So what I have shown here that 
enthalpy rise coefficient can be expressed as a function of pressure ratio. Now using the equation of state, P by rho is equal to RT, the non nice plus mass flow can be expressed as M tilde is equal to M dot divided by rho 0 1 A 0 1 into D square. Now let's put the value of A 0 1 and rho 0 1 then it will be m dot r into t 0 1 divided by p 0 1 root over gamma r t 0 1 into d square. Now let's simplify further then it will become that m dot root over gamma r t 0 1 divided by d, g, d square p 0 1 into gamma. So this is non nice flow mass flow rate m tilde and it's referred as flow capacity. So flow capacity of the machine is m tilde. Similarly, the power coefficient can be expressed as p tilde as p divided by rho 0 1 e 0 1 to the power cube into d square. Now p can be expressed as m dot cp into delta 0. Delta 0 is the temperature rise across the machine. Now uh, I can club this into two groups. So in the denominator, I can write this is rho 0 1 a 0 1 d square into a 0 1 square. Now you can understand this is including m dot and this bracketed quantity is nothing but m tilde. So this will become m tilde into cp delta 0 by a, a 0 1 square. Put the value of a 0 1. Now then it will become m tilde divided by gamma minus 1 del t 0 by t 0 1. So the what the conclusion conclusion is power coefficient can be expressed as del t 0 by t 0 1. So similarly, the enthalpy rise, non lifetime enthalpy rise can be expressed as a function of pressure ratio that I have shown in the earlier page. So thus, I can express now the functional relationship that I have established earlier can be simplified and it can be in more useful form as that enthalpy, non national enthalpy rise can be expressed also, represented also as pressure ratio enthalpy and this is also as that is power coefficient can be expressed also delta 0 by t 0 1. So I can write p 0 2 by p 0 1 eta and delta 0 by t 0 1. One express, one represents the enthalpy rise across the machine and the other one represent the pressure coefficients. So p 0 2 by p 0 1 eta and delta 0 by t 0 1 can be expressed as a function of capacity, flow capacity, Mach number, Reynolds number, and gamma. Now for a machine of a given size handling a single gas, gamma R D can be omitted from the above expressions that I have derived earlier. 
If in addition the machine operates at a high Reynolds number, then the effect of Reynolds number can also be dropped. Thus, the above expression, which has been, which has been derived earlier, can be written as P02 by P01. Eta del T0 by T01 is a function of M dot root over T01 by P01 and omega divided by root over T01. Now, M dot root over T01 by P01 represents the flow capacity and omega by root over T01 represents the speed of the machines. So this is a simplified relations for a particular machine. Now from this relation, I can now establish how the pressure rise or the temperature rise will change with mass flow rate and speed of the machine. Now let us define the isentropic efficiency of a turbine or pump pressures. Now here I have indicated the TS diagram and I have shown you a turbine, indeed a handling compressible flow. So 1, 2 is the actual temperature drop and 1, 2 dash is the isentropic temperature drop. For a turbine, isentropic temperature drop will be higher than the actual temperature drop. Now P01 is the pressure at inlet and P02 is the pressure at exit. Obviously, total pressure. So, eta t efficiency, isentropic efficiency for a turbine can be expressed as del t del a0 divided by del a0s actual enthalpy change divided by isentropic enthalpy change, which can be expressed as a ratio of del t0 by T01 divided by P01 by P02 to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1. Similarly, isentropic efficiency for a compression can be expressed as del A0s by A0. Here, actual rise, ice temperature rise or enthalpy rise for a compression will be higher than the isentropic. And this can be expressed now as P02 divided by P01 to the bar gamma by gamma minus 1 minus 1 divided by del T0 by T01, where del T0 represents the temperature rise or temperature drop across the machine. I will now discuss the characteristics map of a multi-stage compressor. The, here, the performance map has been presented graphically, which was represented in functional form earlier. That's why here P02 by P01 is expressed as a function of M dot root over T01 by P01, which is the flow capacity for different speed, that is omega by root over T01. So this is the performance for different speed. Now, here the ISO contours of efficiency line has also been superimposed. 
Look, this point represents the maximum efficiency that is for this combination of pressure and mass flow rate. The machine has been designed. Furthermore, each characteristics line has merged to the search line, which is the line of instability. Note here that for a certain speed, if we throttle the engine, its pressure will rise, efficiency will increase. At some point, which is near to the search line, efficiency would become maximum, and then we'll further throttle the compressor, the pressure will increase, each blade will start stalling, and then the machine will lead to the search. So at any condition, one should not go beyond the search line, then the total operation would be unstable. This is so far about the characteristics map for a multi-stage compressor. Further, another point that must be stated here at low pressure and high mass flow rate, this characteristic curves becomes vertical. That means if you change the pressure, no increase of mass flow rate is possible. At this condition, the Mach number across a section of the machine becomes unity and the flow is called choked. Furthermore, here a discussion regarding stall and surge appears necessary, which will be made later. Now I'll present the characteristics map of a multi-stage axial flow turbine. Here the characteristics map is represented graphically where P01 by P02 is expressed as a function of M dot root over T01 by P01 for different operational speeds. Look here, the characteristics map of a turbine is completely different from that of a turbine compressor where we have seen a strong dependence of speed. However, here a weak influence of speed on characteristics has been observed for turbine. Furthermore, at any operational speed, after a certain mass flow rate, the characteristic curve becomes vertical. That means, after a certain mass flow rate, if you change the pressure ratio, the mass flow rate cannot be enhanced, indicating that the flow has been chopped. Here, I'll define the specific speed of turbo machines handling compressible flow. Now please note the isentropic work done per unit mass is given by Cp into delta 0 Is, where delta 0 Is is temperature rise or drop across the machines. Similarly, isentropic work done per unit weight can be given by Cp into delta G to Is divided by G, which can be treated as head. So, if you remember the specific speed, expression for specific speed, now 
the specific speed for compressible flow can be expressed as n is equal to omega root over q divided by g into del h i s to the power 3 by 4. That becomes omega into root over q divided by c b into delta 0 i s to the power 3 by 4, where c p is in joules per kg per k. I'll illustrate here the cordial diagram before presenting cordial diagram. I have presented here efficiency versus specific speed. This had been presented earlier. However, you know the expression of specific speed and specific diameter. However, for compressible flow, the specific diameter now is given by d into cp delta 0 is to the power 1 4 by root over q and n is can be expressed as omega root over q divided by cb into delta 0 is to the power 3 by 4. Now if we represent eta maximum versus specific speed, we'll realize that the radial flow machine falls in the range of specific speed 0.2 to around 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and the mixed flow in the range of 0.7 to 2.5, and 2.5 beyond is axial flow machines. And furthermore, through this graphs to so this figure what are the message can be given that the specific speed can be used so to select the different kind of machines rather let me repeat from this figure the message can be given that the specific speed is used to select the types of compression or turbine. Different specific speed range corresponds to different kinds of machines. Now the cordial diagram represents the specific diameter versus specific speeds. Now how this cordial diagram has been created? In reality, we have design large numbers of turbo machines and thus if we select the very good design which has given almost maximum possible efficiency in that zone then we'll, we'll realize that specific diameter of those machines and specific speed are correlated and that correlation is given by the cordial diagram. So thereby you will find here a lot of data points. Those are the real machines that are in existence which has given very good, good efficiency so we have, we have superimposed some pump, compressor, fans, few are in the uh, radial flow impeller, few in the mix flow zone, and few are axial flow machines. So you can realize that they are very well correlated by specific diameter and specific speed. And that line, which represents the correlation, is the cordial line, which is represented here by a red line. So in any design activity, we'll first initiate the design with, with this 
cordial dragon. Here, please note that typically a centrifugal machine will have NS less than or equal to 1.5. A mixed flow machine has NS 1.5 to 2.5, while axial flow machines have N is greater than 2.5. Furthermore, according to the Cordier diagram, axial flow machines in general will have high specific speed and low specific diameter, while the centrifugal machine have low specific speed and high specific diameter. Here I'll give you an example how to use the cordial diagram to initiate the design. To a designer, generally the following information will be known to him. Those information are del H I S, that is isentropic heat rise or drop across the machine or delta zero is and q and omega so before initiating design the following three points at least would be given to a designer which is either delta zero is or delta eight zero is q and omega now, from this set of information, he can assess specific speed, that's non-nifelon specific speed, which for a compressible flow is omega r root over q divided by cp into delta zero i s to the power 3 by 4. And now, using the cordial diagram, from ns, one can evaluate ds. So thus here I have given an example. Suppose if the calculated specific speed becomes 3.3, then the specific diameter would be 1.35 using Courier diagram, which roughly falls in the range of mixed flow machines. Now, after getting DS, one can project the diameter of the impaler would be. So D, we can calculate from DS as DS root over Q divided by CP into delta G to IS to the power one part, one fourth. Thus here, we can assess about the dimension of the impaler. Furthermore, from specific speed, one can assess the maximum efficiency as achievable. Thus, I have written here, from specific speed, one can assess the kind of the impaler that need to be designed, whether axial or mixed flow or radial flow, and the dimension of the machine. Furthermore, specific speed would give you an idea of maximum possible efficiency achievable. So from this, Note, you can simply initiate the design process. Thank you for listening.